Hey, what's up guys? This is 3D Bonfire back with another amazing tutorial. And this time I want to just give you a quick setup for tornadoes. You can see this one is already working quite well. Of course, there is stuff to tweak and of course you can make this one even better. But hey, it's a good start. And honestly, here it's Saturday morning and I just want to go out into the sun. All right, so I don't want to make this one too long and don't want to go too and don't want to go too much into the details, but just give you something to play with, some good ideas and stuff. And I think this setup up is a good start all right all right and just to show you that i also went through some failures here i can show you this test and this was my first animation for the tornado and i think this one is just a failure because you can't see the beautiful spiral movement the rotation and from this point on it just looks like a burning fire with smoke okay so not so interesting but i at least like the colors here okay so this is beautiful and this one i would consider as a complete failure you can see that the smoke is just pinned directly to the spiral movement and it looks super unnatural and i also would say this one doesn't really work so let's jump back to the first one because this is just a masterpiece at least for 10 minutes all right but you can definitely make this one better so let's dive into cinema 4d and have some fun all right just one last thing if you want to have more of the good stuff as always you can check out my patreon 3d bonfire almost 400 patrons already trust me here okay and you can sign in for the free trial for seven days before it will turn into a membership and you get over 200 tutorials scene files and all of the good stuff all right this is me on instagram marcus Gonzalez. 3d if you want to see my latest artworks and just be up to date with my tutorial ideas and now let's dive into cinema 4d and have some fun all right finally in cinema 4d and i probably should mention that this is of course not a physical real life accurate simulation it's more artistic and playful okay so please don't tell me hey marcus this this looks horrible this is not a real tornado i know okay so i was just playing and want to give you some ideas here anyway i'm in my scene and i think i'm safe to ignore the version 2 and 3 here because they look ugly so let's just focus on this one and probably i will also share this scene file on my patreon you can see that this one is already cached so i can scrub through my timeline well i can jump through my timeline at least all right so you can see the playback is pretty slow but anyway i think it will not help you so much when i talk about the final simulation here so for now i would say i will just kill the cache here disable it and now i already put my voxel size to six so this one will simulate reasonably fast in the scene all right for my final simulation i think i went down to maybe three or four to just get more details into simulation but now let's just quickly talk about some of these parameters here and i also have to mention that i was definitely inspired for the setup by the maxon trainer team so thank you maxon for the inspiration here okay so i'm emitting from this disc here when i just simulated for a second here you can see smoke is emitting from this one and i think i also cranked up the contrast and brightness here into noise to just get a more interesting pattern here i also to simulate the noise so when you can see it from here then maybe you can see that the emission pattern is slightly moving here and there to just get a more interesting emission pattern all right other than that i think i only emit smoke here so smoke is density and i deactivate the temperature and all of that stuff and if you are crazy then you could also color your smoke let's just see how this one will look all right it looks burnt out in some areas and i think this is because we set this one to five let's see what happens when i set this one to one okay you could also do that but i'm not totally sure but maybe this will make the smoke denser when i put it to five and honestly i just want to have some white smoke here so let's just keep it like this so i emit it from here all right then i got this idea from the maxon training team which i find is pretty cool so i have these spheres around my disc here and all of them they emit color and velocity the velocity is always targeting towards the center all right so for example this one has a direction of minus one so it will spit out its velocity towards this point and you can see that for example this one has a velocity of one so it goes into this direction and i did this for four spheres here and also i gave them different colors okay let's make this a bit more prominent i want to put this one to yellow maybe this one will be some blue and this one could be some reddish tint and this one could be some greenish color 
Okay, now let's see what will happen. And you can see they spit out color information and also velocity. So this is totally crazy. They don't emit density at all. They just put out some velocity here and you get this movement towards the center. Okay, and the color, of course. So already this one, I think this opens up many creative ideas for you, what you could do with emitters, which only emit color and density. So quite an interesting setup. Then I emit this towards the center and I can already see a problem here so smoke is going through the floor so how about we just put a plane here put this one to a thousand and a thousand let's just see i want to move this one down a little bit and now i just right click on it go to simulation and put a collider on it okay let's see if the problem will still be there okay so now the smoke is only here that's what we want okay we could also make the plane invisible for now and you can already see some really nice movement upwards here like a tornado and um, yeah I have this helix in my scene and when I would deactivate the feed force you can see this helix here you can for example give it different values here for example you could put this one to 2000 but then it would be like a crazy rotation here you could try it all right let's do it like this and then I have a feed force in my simulation you will find it here in the force tab okay just put a feed force in the mix and then I put the helix inside of it give it a negative value of 300 and probably this is everything that I changed here what's also important is to restrict it with a cylindrical field it's this one towards the center I mean you can play with it make this one bigger or smaller just like you prefer it and maybe then you will get even a better result anyway the secret is to have a helix in the field force okay and now let's see what will happen now the smoke will try to align to the helix all right so more or less you will get this beautiful rotation here and it is kind of working all right when the smoke is going outside of the cylindrical field then you can see it will not be any more restricted towards the spiraling movement but it will just fall down and do its smoke thing so this could be an interesting option for you to play with maybe even doing it without a cylindric field or make the cylindric field bigger smaller play with the remapping inside of it so then you will get all kinds of different tornadoes i guess okay i also have a wind force in my field in addition to it and this wind force where is it ah you can see it here is facing upwards and has a certain amount of wind speed in it to just help the smoke to get even more aggressively towards the top let's see what will happen when i put this one to a thousand and then hopefully you can see that when the smoke is going inside of the fall off of the wind then it will be forced even more aggressively to the top and honestly man i have to say that now by magic it looks way more believable like a real tornado okay so there is some really strong upwards movement here i really like and with my default setting here on 150 which i used for my simulation you can see there is way less aggressive upwards movement but the slow spiraling therefore you will get more of the turbulence pattern here and different kind of stuff here okay we got some issue here it also starts to look good okay so yeah it also looks good it looks amazing i think this one looks also pretty nice so just be sure that you play with the strength of your wind and just to be complete here you can see this one has also a cylindrical field this one i didn't use the same cylindrical field for the wind and the field force because i wanted to restrict them in different areas but yeah now it's up to you to play with it and just make an even better artistic tornado here like I did all right if you liked it then please leave a comment give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and maybe you would even consider to become a patron of me that would be just amazing but now I just want to wish you a beautiful day learn something but then go out into the sun play a little bit read a book have some fun with your family your girlfriend your boyfriend whatever okay so thank you so much for your time see you in the next tutorial bye everyone.